Hello everyone, and welcome to our video discussing Fallout 76 Seconds Unwritten Rules. Nowadays, Fallout 76 is filled with veterans and new players alike, and as a live service title and multiplayer game, a few unwritten rules have inevitably come to rise as the honorable way to engage with the game. The common theme in all the game's unwritten rules is how a player's action can affect the experience of others. The consensus in the community is the entire source of influence for the list, so at times it can generate some controversy in Fallout 76 among the different styles of players. Let's dive into some of these unwritten rules. First off, let's talk about PvP. PvP in Fallout 76 doesn't have too many rules, except for how it is initiated and that players will lose their junk items whenever they die. The safest way to avoid other players stealing one's junk is to deposit before traveling to player camps, and also to enable the pacifist setting to avoid accidentally triggering duels. Like workshops in Fallout 76, trap camps can override, bypass the pacifist setting. Making a habit of depositing junk items in personal stash containers is the only way to guarantee these items can't be stolen. Now, let's discuss explosives. The main point is to be considerate of how explosives can visually affect other players. There is a perk that doubles the size of explosives in Fallout 76, which makes them capable of completely blinding other players in indoor environments. This rule is important because lately, a lot of the community's discourse has been insistent that Fallout 76 implement settings that reduce and or remove explosive weapons secondhand screen shake and visual effects, moving on to radiation or rads, which isn't always bad. The Adrenal Rush Mutation, Unyielding Armor, and Bloodied Weapons all rely on players to have low health in order to maximize their benefits. Since bloody builds are extremely popular in Fallout 76 due to their high damage and experience farming potential it's best to leave other players' radiation levels alone. Any players that share radiation curing perks with members of a public team risk the consequence of being booted. Lastly, let's talk about player vending machines. Anything listed in a vendor, no matter how high or low the price is, can and will be bought by other players with varying intentions. The seller forfeits all authority over items once they become listed in the vending machine. Players hoping to mutually trade for valuable items should instead display the items with accompanying signage. And players hoping to help new players should seek them out and gift them the items instead. And that's it for today's video. Fallout 76 Seconds Unwritten Rules are a living and changeable list, but a few still ring true for a seemingly permanent lifetime. Keep these rules in mind to enhance your gaming experience and contribute to the community in a positive way. Fallout 76 is available now for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the wasteland.